so we are back in Sunset Valley where I'm renovating all the lots <laughs> there and even adding some more. And for today's episode, as you might have guessed already, uh, I'm going to tackle the military base that is there. It's a rabbit hole building and there is a whole uh, backdrop to it and that is huge <laughs> and uh, there is a rocket launcher an airport a few couple of satellite dishes i don't think is there more yeah there are more over there and uh, yeah so uh, this lot is big uh if i remember well it's 64 by 64 and uh, has not much use uh, except for the military carrier so the idea is to have the rabbit hole rug and then to do a whole uh, base. Now first let's do a quick tour of the lot. View in edit mode um, first. It's a 64 by 64 lot and is for gnome military base. Now this is a load it's on Sierra Tango Boulevard. Uh, so, that part I get. For num, why? I don't know. So there is quite the big stretch of road uh, in front of it. Uh, yeah, the whole length of it. Uh, so the building itself, can't see what's behind the windows. Uh, but there is a stencil there. I don't know the style of the building. It's a bit Mediterranean. The roof, but the rest of the building. So there is... Uh, model there, sculpture, some sort of a booth. This is fenced in and there is two watchtowers and uh, nothing there. <laughs> I don't know if they were trying to do, uh, maybe they ran out of time to do something there. So there is room here to, to, to do something else and it's accessible since the, the gates there so you don't even need to go through the building thinking that maybe they were trying to do something like the, what they did in Isla Paradiso the world from Island Paradise uh, so in Isla Paradiso they did a, a training rounds oh my is that world green at forgotten oh I like it don't know what spot is supposed to be so city hall is there so yeah, that's what I'm, I was looking for. Let's have a closer look. So there is um, the military. The military carrier is there too. And so this looks like training grounds. Well, not this one. It's more of a the guard house, the guard booth. No. Why is it like that? Is it? Is that? No. I was thinking maybe there would be a ladder. But there's no room for a ladder. No, nothing downstairs. Here, that's what I'm interested in. That's pretty neat. Here we have ladders. So I'm going to get inspiration from these for the training grounds in Sunset Valley for the military base. I'm, I'm going to try to add something a bit more interactive because I think here the seems are going to go not like that. They're not even going to do that because there is room here. And well, let's try. Okay, so I've picked a, a random sim, uh, Florita Hernandez. Okay, you know what? Let's do that. Climb up, please. Get off your phone, <laughs> lady. Come on. <laughs> okay, so let's go. So yeah, she doesn't do. She goes the straight way. She doesn't do the the, the curves and turns and, and then go there. Yeah, I uh, see. So it's pretty straightforward. <laughs> um, okay, and uh, yeah. So I'll try to to take inspiration from that. So that there's <laughs> that is somewhat of a renovation. I'm I'm stealing ideas from EA. I'm trying to. Make them over a bit. Okay, so back in Sunset Valley. So I'm not saying I'm going to do the same thing they did in Isla Paradiso, but I think 
there is room to integrate training grounds here. Also, I'm going to remove the road hole building. I don't have that big piece of artwork there, so I'll see what I can find to, to have some sort of big emblem above the door. And I'll have a main building inspired by that. The roof is going to be different for sure. That's what I'm thinking right now. Maybe add some more trees to hide a bit more. The, uh, a bit space there, even though I do understand because you don't want to have too many trees where there is a landing space. Um, at the same time, it's smack dab in the in the mountain like that, so it's not good either. I mean, you don't want to miss the landing, yeah. Okay, let's get to it. Okay, so the military base. Uh, so I went to with the same mindset I had for the science center, uh, meaning that I tried to replicate somewhat the building, but just parts of it, so that it would echo the, the rally hall building with what I had at hand. So, since I'm not using uh, CC nor store items, couldn't, you know, I don't have, for instance, the same uh, window. So, I have very similar windows, but that don't go, don't cover both floors at the same time. So, they are smaller and uh, to make do with, with, uh, with them. And I really. I was happy I could use them because these, I think, are from maybe late night and uh, there are some windows from late night and I never use uh, to here. <laughs> okay, they, they look the same, it's just that they are on a small scale. <laughs> and and then, so, work a bit more on the building to give it the same shape. And I was, I noticed while doing it that actually the shape well, to me, it looks, it looks from a bow, it looks like a plane, or maybe a shuttle, so maybe a, a space shuttle, I don't know. <laughs> Since there is a runway behind a uh, rocket launcher, it's not that out of uh, blue. Um, but yeah, so that was what struck me when once I was done with the building. So um, that building, there are... Uh, uh, <laughs> five doors, I think, leading outside. Um, so there is one, there is the front one, the front door, and then two on the side, uh, on the two sides, and then two on the back. So yeah, I think five doors leading outside, and uh, same thing, I went with doors that, that look like the, the ones that were on the rabbit hole building and try to do something, but I'm going to do something a bit more elaborate a bit later <laughs> for the, the front sign above the door. So yeah, the doors, I went with uh, doors from Island Paradise, I think. Um, so uh, they, they look quite like the, the ones that were on the rabbit hole building, but they, they don't have the, the stickers on them, so the stencil that I really liked actually. <laughs> so two bats for that. So I'll talk a bit more about the building a bit later, but then here I was collecting items, seeing, seeing what items I could make use of, and didn't use all of them, but you know, was a first view what could could be done there. So then, um, started on the training grounds was a lot of fun. The whole lot was a lot of fun. Uh, I had uh, I was a bit surprised, but yeah, I had a, a lot of fun doing this one. So it's a big lot. So a lot of things were possible there, and the training grounds are pretty big. So what I started with was. Uh, delineating the, the space and then I started putting a lot of uh, rocks uh, 
around the, the edge of the path, of the trail there, because the seams don't walk over them, they have to walk around, even, even the, the small ones. So they are a good way to have a sort of fence there and to force the seams to go the path you want them to go through. So for instance, I did a winding path here to, to reach the trampoline and with the with the, the rocks there they are forced to go that winning path and they are not cutting through um, through another way and uh, here I'm putting some more items on the side because I had ideas while I was doing the, the training rounds for some more activities and uh, yeah so they have I haven't so I put a lot of rocks at first and then I remove quite a few uh, because when you you want to to edit that lot it takes a bit to load the buy and build mod uh, because of them <laughs> there are quite a, a, a few there so I removed the ones where I was uh, I was thinking that it doesn't matter if the, the, the seam uh, cuts through another uh, uh, way, you know, if, if they get, if they take a, a shortcut to, to get there. But I've left the ones so around the the poles there because I really wanted them to climb up those poles and then get down the ladder, then get up the ladder, the next ladder, and then get down the pole around the swimming pool too, so that they don't get go. If they want to go from one side to the other, they're going to go through the swimming pool. And so that the, the main part and also the the, so the winding path um, for the trampoline. Here I removed on one side for the firework pits, I removed on one side the rocks I put a bit later. So first I did that so that I knew and I had I had uh, Erin Kennedy uh, was the one who play tested the the training rounds for me and most of the lot because there is a swimming pool so I couldn't send Tantan there <laughs> so yeah and he's a bit slow you know for everything for the running part activities <laughs> he's a bit slow oh yeah that's also a lot where uh, the Jogging markers can be added easily, so you can spot Erin there. She was, she was uh, really testing for me. So I also added some bushes and trees, and uh, I also went to edit town uh, mud and added a few trees around the, the lot. Not too too many though. Uh, I was careful there. So I called that part landscaping for lack of a better title, but it's mostly doing the, the front of the lot and uh, adding parking spaces. And I haven't added any decorative cars there because uh, I, will, I won't, if I had, it would have been um, military looking cars and down and none, uh, at least not in the by the book catalogs so of the decorative ones. And uh, then I started on the two smaller buildings on each side. So there were already two smaller buildings there, but I made one smaller and on the other side of the of that uh, road I made. Uh, so I did that road on the lot to ha have an access to the back because there is the, the, the runway and the, and the rocket launcher over there so you need to have some sort of access for that. And so the small building is kind of a guard booth uh, for, uh, to, to protect, to let's say regulate the access to, to that route pretend <laughs> that we are regulating that. So then the second building is on the other side and it's kind of a shooting range. <laughs> so the only activity to do there is, uh, well, throwing darts, so dart bolts 
and I've tried to make it look a bit like a shooting range so I was very happy that the half wall like that works so I had uh, Erin who playtested for me and she's just behind the wall and throwing darts so it was very cool and uh, oh yeah there is a, a, a toolbar there on the middle of the screen uh, it's my software that was glitching um, the recording software was glitching when I, I was uh, doing that part here so it couldn't remove it which well, it's just for that part so but yeah that's it for the second secondary building so two small buildings with much much to do there the other one I've put a laptop I think and maybe a phone and nothing, nothing much to do either over there. But here there are still uh, three different dartboards. I don't think throwing darts the, um, work for to improve skills in the military career. There, <laughs> that's too bad. We are working a bit more on the, the small booth and the surrounding area. So then I went back to adjusting a bit more of the, the, the building and that big sign above the, the front door. I, that's an idea I got uh, when I was trying to get to sleep. <laughs> was, oh, I know what I could use to, to have some sort of abstract wings uh, to, as a callback to the original sign to the original building. And that's that... Uh, um, sculpture from ambitions I think it's flame something that's supposed to be it's supposed to be flames or yeah I think <laughs> but yeah I'm using it there and I was pretty happy to have found that one and also added a, a gnome inside but I don't think it's on the second floor so I'm going to talk about that but yeah I've put a gnome because it's called Fort Gnome and I tried to put it elsewhere where it would be vis visible but it was really weird um, to have it there, so I, I've put it upstairs. So yeah, doing the layout here and trying to see what I was going to have where, how many uh, rooms I was going to have. And uh, so there is just one floor um, accessible for, for that building, even though there are stairs, so they can go on the second floor. But there is, I haven't done much there over there. There's just that one gnome, I think, <laughs> and a few, uh, like three doors, maybe. So there is a landing and three different doors leading to three different rooms. And uh, shoot, downstairs, and so the one, well, it's two floors again. It's a ground floor where it's going to be the cafeteria. Um, so there is a ground floor where I've, I've uh, put a level skip marker and then the first floor which is one small uh, fruit level higher and then the smallest one. So one step higher to here and doing the landing on the second floor with the three doors. Yep. Yes, I got it right. Okay, so then once I knew how many rooms, so three big men rooms uh, and a few smaller ones to have uh, facilities, you know, like bathrooms, there is a laundry room, there is a kitchen that I've put a hidden room marker there and thinking, oh, there is a, um, another bathroom. The one is where the toilets are and the other one it's for showers. Uh, so, the first room I tackled is the one where there are the most activities. So I've put bookcases uh, with skill books and uh, computer, laptops, the podium, uh, whiteboard, the there's a coffee machine. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, uh, the train sets because they look like some battle planning board or something. And the domino stable into that's uh, the chess board. So I don't remember if I said said this one into then uh, decor items. 
But the other is a TV too, uh, so that they can be sitting down the, the, on, on the chairs there and we can pretend they are doing, having a meeting and then uh, they're actually watching TV. Oh, also I keep forgetting to mention, but the lot type is an academy for now because I already had two gyms. I didn't know where else to have that. So. Then there is the cafeteria. Uh, so the, the building is quite symmetric. So the that part here echoes the part on the other side. So we are on one wing of the of the plane. <laughs> so on one wing of the building. And uh, there, there, that's where I put the cafeteria. Yeah, so there's not much depth. Uh, I've put a food register, but I want, when I was playtesting the, the lot, I haven't playtested it like thoroughly, but I've, uh, I've played a bit in it so that I knew that the different activities were accessible, for instance, on the, on the training grounds. And there were no NPC tending the register, the food register I put there, uh, but I sent Erin behind the counter and she could access uh, the, the, the there so she, she could access the what I oh yeah I put a grill on there and she grilled some hot dogs <laughs> so she she was able to go behind the counter so it's, that's not the issue I don't know if the maybe the NPC didn't have time to, to go there uh, but yeah I couldn't check if it worked well and then uh, uh, there is a kitchen, but I started putting things there, but I was about to go Franklish on you. <laughs> I was going to say, et puis. <laughs> so the kitchen, uh, yeah, I put a hidden room marker uh, at the end because, well, I didn't really need the, the room, so to save some space put a hidden room marker there, but it can be removed of course and the room can be used for anything. So then jumping on the other side on the on the on the opposite side of the building and that's where I have the gym and the workshop. So it's one big room but there is a small uh, bathroom that I'm doing right now uh, ad adjacent to, to the, the room to the gym. A wire of put showers and a prison locker room here. I've uh, added uh, wash basins, but uh, are not really useful because the are showers here, and not, not toilets. So the toilets are in another room. So then did a small gym because there is a training round, so I didn't really need to add too many machines there. Uh, they can go outside, but let's say it's for when, for rainy days. Well, it's, at the same time, it's, it's the uh, military, so they should train outside during rainy days, shouldn't they? Isn't it considered as good exercise? I, I do know. And uh, then I uh, haven't added a sick bay, so maybe not. Um, but yeah, there is room uh, upstairs for more if needed, so maybe it can be added <laughs> there. And maybe a dormitory. But yeah, one floor is, is good enough, uh, I think, because it's a, it's a big lot and there, there, there's a, a lot of things to do already there. So adding a bathroom and a laundry room here, and then a few more details. I haven't changed much at the end. I was pretty happy with the, the building in general. I, I, I kind of lucked out on a few things like the, the roof color, the first one I got, it's the one I kept because I really liked the overall look of the, of the building, the color scheme there. So yeah, a few changes but not, nothing much. So that's it for the building part of the video. Let's get to the tour of the military base.
a lot overview, let's start with the building itself. So, the, the main entrance is there, and there's the, the parking spaces on the front, so there's a thick road leading to, to the back, and a booth here, and gates over there, here, leading to the back of the building. This is the shooting range over there, in that annex here, so they can throw darts. And then back to the front of the lot here, that's where the rabbit hole rack is, over there, so they, they can join the military career, uh, do a tour of the base, or attend handiness lessons. So this is the kitchen where I've put the hidden room marker. Then there is a door here, a small area over there, and then the cafeteria itself, here with a door here and here leading outside. Small corridor, the laundry area, the strate strategy room to to plot something or do tactical things there. So there are two train sets over there, <laughs> not much use for them, but yeah. So the toilets are there, and then that small corridor, and the gym with the showers over there, to here. Then in the same room as the gym, but one step below there are work, uh, the workshop, so with uh, workbenches and laptops on cars there. And there is a two different doors leading outside, so let's see, that's the shooting range over there, the pathway, and then we're going to go to the training grounds, where, so there is a trail, but different, you can take different paths, depending on where, what you want them to be doing, so now the fireworks there, and then there is the, the poles and ladders, and there is also, um, let's show you, there are two chin-up bars, you know, uh, one here, and then on, on the one on the other side. Both are accessible, I, I playtested uh, with Erin, so I blend them in with the, the walls there. So back in the sky, and then they can continue, there is a pool here, swim over uh, to the other side, and then there is a winning pathway here leading to the trampoline, and they can jump on it, and then go the other way. And there is also a path here with the weight lifting machines. Then back to the uh, building, so there are two accesses here. Um, the, the, the stones should be, the rocks should be blocking the seams from uh, taking a shortcut to, to go to the training grounds. So, that's the military base, uh, so uh, in that save file it's going to be there, because there is that lot here, but uh, in the version I'm doing for uh, with a, a custom world, slightly customized world, I'm going to have it here. So that's why I did the road I did, that's why I did it on that, on that side of the lot, because it's going to be there here and so it can connect to the, the trail leading to the, the lots in the back. So that's going to be it for that makeover. Still two buildings to go. Next one should be the fire station. It's going to be a let's build. I'll see you then. A bientôt!